Evo, search for Eden, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Evo, search for Eden, originally released in Japan as 46 Ukunanan Montagari, Harukanari Eden Air, is a side-scroller video game developed by the Almanic Corporation and published by Enix for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Originally released in 1992 for Japanese audiences, the game was translated and made available in North America in 1993, courtesy of Enix America Corp. Combining aspects of traditional platforming video games, the game involves a player navigating a creature for a number of side-scrolling levels while undergoing bodily evolution to cope with ever-changing environments. The game is heavily based on Almanic's original title, 46 Ukunen and Montagari, the Shinka Rom released exclusively in Japan in 1990 for the PC-9801 home computer. Spanning a period of several millennia, the game story involves Gaia, daughter of the sun and mystical embodiment of the earth, guiding the player through the five distinct geological period of the planet's history. Beginning the game as a simple fish the player must travel across the planet, defeating enemies and gaining the strength to evolve into more powerful and complex organisms before eventually earning a chance to enter the paradise realm of Eden, becoming Gaia's immortal partner. However, strange crystals with the ability to influence evolution are laden throughout the player's quest. With the mystery of their origin, becoming a secondary factor to the story. Contents 1. Gameplay 2. Story 3. Development 3.1. Audio 4. Reception 5. See also 6. References 7. External links Section 1. Gameplay EVO is a side-scrolling platform action game where players must navigate a creature of their own design across a number of environments resembling Earth's past. The game is divided into five distinct geological periods. The Davinian period, the world before land, the Carboniferous period, early creatures of land, the Jurassic period, age of dinosaurs, the late Paleogene era, ice age, and finally the early Neogene period, early man. While each era takes historical liberties with both of its inhabitants and time frames, a player's choices for evolution are dependent on the current era of play, ranging from aquatic bodies during the age of fish to mammalian physiology during the age of man. As the player progresses through each level, one encounters other organisms who must be confronted by biting or ramming them until they are defeated, leaving behind their meat which the player can consume to grant them evolution points used towards upgrading specific body parts. The body of a character, controlled by the player, is divided into eight sections, which can be upgraded by spending evolution points, which make them stronger as well as change their appearance. New abilities such as tail swings, greater jumping ability, and increased movement speed can also be attained through evolution. During gameplay, the player will also encounter crystals that either display hints and tips, grant large amounts of evolution points, or transform their character into a unique body for a limited time. As the player, 
takes damage from enemy creatures, one may restore health at any time by either consuming the meat of their foes, eating nearby plant life, or undergoing selective evolution. At the end of each level, the player must face a stronger boss character in order to progress, requiring much more effort than the typical foe. If a player's character loses all of their health points, the player is revived by Gaia and sent back to the game's map screen with a deduction of evolution points. There is no game over mechanism, only an EVO point reduction. The game utilises a built-in battery backup save system for storing game data. A player may record progress directly to the cartridge to be continued at another time, as well as to store up to 50 formerly created creatures using the game's built-in Book of Life feature. Creatures stored in this index have the option to be recorded at any time when a player encounters special crystals during the quest. Section 2 Story Evo tells the saga of life's evolution on Earth with the subtext of a creation myth and polytheistic evolution. The player takes the role of one of the many billions of life forms created by Gaia, the nurturing and benevolent daughter of Sol, the sun. Among the creatures known as life, there is competition to evolve, and the best life form will eventually be granted the privilege of entering the Garden of Eden and becoming the husband and partner of Gaia. As the game progresses, it soon becomes apparent that some mysterious external force is interfering with evolution on Earth in a destructive manner. Strange crystals, not native to Gaia, appear across the planet, and creatures that eat the crystals are transformed into monstrously powerful beings that dominate all the other life forms, overconsume resources, and disrupt the flow of evolution. In each stage, the player character is tasked with confronting the species transformed by the crystals and defeating them so that the evolution of life can continue on track. In the final stage, the Age of Eden, the player learns that a mysterious entity is controlling the world's other life forms and sending them against the player. This entity turns out to be Bulbogs a life form that has evolved into a freakish and evil advanced being by consuming the crystals, believing itself to be the first human, when in reality it is a gigantic one-celled organism. In the game's final battle, the player and Bulbux fight to determine who will gain entry into Eden and become Gaia's partner. Bulbux is defeated and the player joins Gaia in Eden and is granted the gift of intelligence. It is also revealed that the crystals were introduced to Earth by an advanced civilization on Mars, who misguidedly wished to help Earth by speeding its evolution with the crystals. Upon realizing the dangers the crystals create, the Martians decide to leave Earth alone and simply watch it until it becomes advanced enough to interact with Mars. Section 3. Development EVO was developed by Almanic Corporation in early 1992 under the Japanese title of 46 Ukunanan Montagari Har Harukanari Eden Air, literally 4.6 billion year story to distant Eden and was headed by project director Takashi Yoneda who had previously designed Quintet's Actraiser three years prior. The title was largely based on the company's earlier text adventure game, 46 Ukanan and Montagari, the Shinka Rom. Literally, 4.6 billion year story, The Theory of Evolution, released for the NEC PC9801 home computer in 1990 and carries over much of the game's themes, designs and story. 
Although the design staff had opted to give a fantastic rather than a scientific representation of evolutionary theories and planet development, the crew was assisted by teachers from local schools to provide information on geology and biology to the programmers. While some of the game's designers were similar to the original PC-9801 title, much of the staff for Super Nintendo Entertainment System version was made up of a younger, less experienced crew, which Shinoda claims made things interesting during development. The North American version was translated and marketed by Enix America Corporation. While originally planned for a March 1993 release, the game was beset by last minute delays for several months until the following June. The company would later hold a promotional contest where players could send in photographs of their favourite customised creatures for a chance to win a free Enix game. Section 3.1 Audio The music for Evo was composed by Kyuchi Sugiyama, who is most famous for his work on Enix's Dragon Quest series. The game was his first composition for a 16-bit system, with each theme made to fit the imagery of a particular era, which director Takayashi Yonada claimed he was quite passionate about. In late 1992, select songs from the game were performed by the Tokyo City Philharmonic Orchestra during their second annual game music concert series in Tokyo, Japan. Two of these songs, Great Hymn of Nature, Earth, and Sorrow, were made available on the Orchestra Game Music Concert 2 album the following November. The following December, an official soundtrack for EVO was released exclusively in Japan by Apollon Records. Like the soundtrack for the game's successor, rather than featuring the same instrumentation present in the game, the 46 Ukunan and Montagari Symphonic Synth Suite soundtrack was composed of music re-recorded and arranged by Mota Aki Takanauchi using a combination of electronic keyboard synth and orchestra samples to recreate it on a more sophisticated format. Section 4 Reception The game received mild but generally positive reviews during its initial release in North America. GamePro magazine praised the game's originality and overall design but found fault with the visual presentation of the title stating Although this game has an interesting concept, the sluggish gameplay and average graphics may make you return to the caves. The publication also found the background music lacking, stating the game's compositions ranged from soothing to annoying. Nintendo Power also called attention to the game's ingenuity and theme remarking that the idea of this game is great and the weird creatures you can evolve can be both bizarre and hilarious. However the magazine felt that the game's representation of the concept of evolution was too fanciful as well as the process of obtaining power-up items being tedious. Nintendo Power would later give the game an honourable mention during its top titles of 1993 awards segment as one of the most innovative games of the year. Although not officially released in Europe, the game was covered in an import review by Superplay in late 1993. Although they found the game's strategy components to be top-notch, the rest of the game was regarded as very mediocre, garnering only a 47% average score. More Contemporary reviews of the game were largely positive. In, in his 2001 Collector's Guide video game Bible, author Andy Slaven called the game wildly underrated and highly original. 
Jonathan Dunder of the Free Information Society gave the game five stars, citing it as a classic in gaming history. Although admitting that the gameplay can get somewhat repetitive, in February 2007, IGN ranked EVO second in its list of the greatest prehistoric games of all time, stating that no other title before or since has so effectively captured the essence of evolutionary theory in video game form. The website additionally likened the title to the then upcoming and highly anticipated Spore by Maxis Games, calling Evo the original success story in life simulation gaming and the standard for which it would be judged. Section 5. See also. This section suggests some Wikipedia articles for reading. The suggested articles are 1. Spore 2. Impossible Creatures 3. Black and White 4. LOL Lack of Love 5. Seventh Cross Evolution 6. Evolution The Game of Intelligent Life 7. Creatures 8. Sim Life and 9. Sim Earth Section 6. References There are several references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 7. External links. In addition to the above, several external links have been listed for finding additional information online. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Evo, Search for Eden. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org.